that this ayat applies to Ikra and to you, to us here. Uh, this ayat in Surah Tawbah, <coughs> ayat 122, talks about uh, how Muslims, Muslim community <coughs> should uh, ensure that even during war a group of Muslims should not go to war but should engage in learning, studying Islam so that when those who are engaged in war when they come back can be led and can be taught. <coughs> And the translation of this ayat, uh, I have uh, selected this uh, translation of the Holy Quran rendered by uh, Ali Unal, a Turkish scholar. And this translation has been uh, recently uh, published here in the United States. It's a very good translation and uh, that has very, very good comments. <coughs> now, let me read the translation of the ayat. And the believers 
should not go forth to war altogether. But why should not a party from every community of them mobilize to acquire profound, correct knowledge and understanding of religion and warn their people when they return to them so that they may be aware of wrongful attitudes. Footnote 27 reads, Islam is a religion of perfect balance, each part of which is exactly where it should be, while exhorting the believers to mobilize against one of the two superpowers of the time. The Quran does not neglect an important dimension. It orders the Muslim community that there must be some among these people who are well versed in Islam. If the warriors are victorious, they may feel proud and adopt some undesirable attitudes in the society, <coughs> while if they are defeated, this may cause them to despair for the future. So they may need a warning from someone well versed in Islam. Secondly, the army members may not have enough time to learn the commandments of the religion. All this requires that there must be a scholarly group who will teach them. The verse uses the word liyatafaqahu for the group that that is to be mobilized, mobilized in order to instruct in the religion. This means to penetrate the essence of a matter, to attain a deep and correct understanding and discernment. This I perfectly applies. So prior to that, I would like to <clears throat> just clarify one thing, the why we are gathered here. This is uh, really enlightening uh, as Imam Sanad has did the recitation of the words and then the tafsir of that verse and the translation. The reason that we have gathered here is Iqra. Alhamdulillah, we have strived the best in the year 2008. And I think this was the time that we should gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And at the same time, be thankful and gratitude to each, to, to provide our, uh, to give our gratitude to each other so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes it and give us the courage to perform even better in this year and in the upcoming years.